take him. <laughs> Alright, so I just spotted the first flock in the air up here. And the geese know how to find the other geese better than I do. So I'm going to get on them right now and, and follow them and see where they go. Alright guys, I found them. Uh, they're kind of down in a hole. I couldn't see them from the other road, which is why I drove past this field. And like I said, I followed those geese and watched where they went down and came to the other side here. Now I can see them. So um, this will be our first goose hunt of the season. I didn't hunt at all the early season. We had our baby on September 2nd. So we I planned on pretty much taking the early season off. And um, now the corn's cut, obviously. They just chopped this field today and the birds are already in it. So. I counted about a hundred. I think that's plenty for what we need to do tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited to get on our first hunt of the year here and put the smack down on a few honkers in the morning. I think we'll have four or five guys probably, so nice. I'm stoked. All right, so we're getting set up here this morning. It's looking pretty good. We got lots of food out here, tons of corn. We got a little bit of a hiding spot here. Hopefully it's gonna be enough to hide us, but it's a little bit of a hilly field. So we kind of picked a, a flatter spot here with kind of a hill behind us. And we got about six dozen decoys out setting kind of a horseshoe here with the hole in front of us. So it's just about shooting time. So we gotta get the trucks out of here and hop in the blinds. So this morning was super calm, super clear. We set up in the dark about an hour before light and the geese for some reason slept in quite a bit and uh, we didn't really see any movement until about 40 minutes after shooting time. So we sat there and waited quite a while for the first flock to show up. And um, the first flock that came kind of passed us by and then the majority of the birds that were in that field came in the next bunch and um, they came in pretty good. We had a couple flocks come in really well and um, we passed up some opportunities you know sometimes we, we let them go because we were hoping they come out around and swing into the hole and we get some better shots um, so we passed up a couple that we could have taken shots at but I like to get them in the hole if we can it's just more rewarding to, to get them to commit so um, then we were getting kind of ready to actually pack up and we're like well the birds are flying so late maybe we should wait and uh, it was a good thing we did. So we ended up with 13 birds this morning. Um, you know, we had five guys hunting so we could shoot 15, but uh, we kept pretty close to a limit. And for only having 100 birds in the field with super high skies, clear weather, no wind, uh, late, late birds, uh, 13 is a good morning. So we were pretty happy with that. That was a good start to the season. You know, there's gonna be a lot more birds coming. <clears throat> we're hoping to see some migration this week we're having a front come through Monday, hopefully, and it'll bring some more birds with it. There's tons of food in this field. 
I don't think they're going to be going anywhere for a while. I mean, there's corn everywhere in this field, um, and there's plenty more fields around it that we can hunt as well. So I think the hunting is just going to keep getting better and better, and hopefully we can have some big numbers hunts later on, maybe hopefully get into some mallards. And, uh, yeah, it's just the beginning of waterfall season, so I'm stoked, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to whack and stack a bunch more. So good luck, guys, and get after it. We'll see you next time.